what's up video welcome to this video so this video is about fixing the vulnerabilities of any node.js application especially when uh, npm audit fix is not working so if you have an application like i have the number one step of checking for any vulnerability is select package log and node module delete because both uh, package log and node modules are created uh, after running the command npm install so we don't apply any kind of change to both of these two things if we want to do anything we will apply the solution inside package.json for now let's check out that if this application has any vulnerability so npm install Now we can see that we have 13 vulnerabilities. So what we will do is we will first use the npm audit. Now we can see that we have these vulnerabilities. So we have three of them. Now the next step is we write npm audit fix. So sometime it fixes all of the vulnerabilities but in this case it didn't do anything. So what we now want to do is we want to delete the package log and node modules file again and then come inside the package json and check out if there is any uh, overrides already so we don't have any overrides come down here at the bottom and we will create overrides and inside this we will check that what are the vulnerabilities that we have so first of all we have this d3 color and it is indicating that directly inside the node module we have this d3 color what we need to do is we need to find out its latest version so its latest version is 3.1.0 d3 color then the version 3.1.0 now for the second one it is the nth check nth check package so it's saying that inside node module we have svgo so create svgo and then inside that we have nth check so copy it from here and let's check what's the latest version of nth check so it's 2.1.1 2.1.1 now after this We have the last dependency post CSS. So, node module inside this resolve URL loader and inside it we have post CSS. So, it's 8.4.40. They will uh, give all of these the latest version. Now all of these dependencies are taken care of. What we will do is we will make sure that there are no package log.json because we can change that file so we have deleted it. 
we shouldn't have any node modules folder over here because we will run the npm stall command again. So you can see that there are no vulnerabilities. So to confirm that we will run npm audit once again and you can show that the number of vulnerabilities are zero. So this solves the problem. So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.